Okay, hi everyone. Uh, my name is Ashley and I will be hosting this series <laughs> on um, an intro to careers in social impact tech. Um, this is workshop one of our series that will take place during winter quarter um, that will just be about careers in social impact tech. So if you want to access the slides, um, that link is there. Maya, do you mind putting that in the chat? um so that people can access the slides yeah and we also have oh my God. <laughs> sorry i cannot operate zoom that is totally fine. and then we also have a feedback form and we can put that link in the chat as well we'll come back to it obviously at the end of the workshop sorry let me just um no worries all right next slide yes please um, so first we want to introduce, we will introduce ourselves in more detail very soon, but first we want to introduce what ACM Impact is, um, because this is a workshop series for ACM Impact. Um, so we're a new initiative of ACM. Um, we're focused on socially responsible engineering, social impact tech, and tech policy. Um, our mission is to kind of just cultivate a community at UCLA. Um, I would say that's our primary mission, just like that sense of community that we're really committed to improving the social impact um, of technology and kind of the tech industry as a whole. Um, we really want ACM Impact to just be a space where you can come learn um, about tech ethics, policy, um, whatever it may be, anything that's kind of in the intersection of, so, of social impact and tech, and um, really just apply those learnings, like what you've learned from our um, from our projects and events when you're choosing a real world job, and just be more equipped to really um, kind of pursue those opportunities that are more interdisciplinary um, while at UCLA and school in general and in your career. Um, we also have an uh, intro blog post um, that will that is introducing our initiatives for this quarter and we're going to have um, a whole series of, of uh, tech policy blog posts um, and they'll be posted in that same link so you can go ahead and check that out. Um, the hyperlink should be on the slide so if you have the slides open you should be able to click on any of the links that we show. Next slide, please. Um, as promised, our individual introductions. Um, Maya and I are going to be your hosts for today's presentation and for this entire winter quarter series. Um, my name is Ashley Gotsian, brief intro. Um, my pronouns are she, her, hers. I'm a third year linguistics and computer science major and Spanish linguistics minor. Um, and I have always been really passionate about um, just the more the social impact side of things so um, community organizing mutual aid whatever that looks like um, i've always been really passionate about that and then um, since coming to ucla i got more involved in tech and i really saw um kind of the potential that tech has um oh we can resend the link to the slides maya do you mind doing that um for people who have just come in but i'm really passionate about kind of now the uh potential that tech has to be used as a tool towards social impact and community growth um, so that's me. Maya, do you want to go ahead and introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Maya. Um, pronouns are she, her. I'm a second year computer science major with a minor in environmental systems and society. And yeah, like Ashley, I've kind of always been interested in just current events and social impact. And um, I kind of got into computer science because I heard the term CS and social impact. And I was really interested in what that meant. Um, and how the intersection of two fields that you think would be different would look like, um, but they're actually not that different. And I think that they can help each other a lot. And I hope that more people at UCLA see computer science in that way. So I'm really excited for this workshop and to show you guys everything that you can do in the social impact tech space. Um, so we wanted to start off kind of just defining what social impact tech is. Um, you might think it's kind of a self explanatory term to some extent that's po possibly true. Um, but we wanted to kind of have everyone start off on the same foot and define what this is so that you know what to expect from kind of these workshops. Um, so we can start with um, some kind of classifications of what an organization's impact can look like. Um, so the source that we found about this kind of uh, separated it into an ABC. Um, so the A is just acting to avoid harm. Um, if a company, for example, prevents the negative outcomes of tech, um, that would be called uh, responsible tech. Um, and uh, kind of the caveat to that is you're preventing the negative outcomes, but you're not exactly contributing to positive ones either. Um, so the second one is 
the B is benefit stakeholders. So prevent the negative outcomes, which is A, and generate positive ones for people and the planet. That would be called sustainable tech. Um, and then social impact tech kind of comes in when it contributes to larger solutions. So um, doing A and B and also signif significantly generating positive outcomes. Um, and so that would be kind of social impact tech. So it is a very multi-layered definition and it can manifest in a lot of different ways. So this is kind of like a theoretical framework. If you're wondering what does that really look like, um, the next slide has some examples. So Ooh, just kidding, we're still in the definition. The slide after will have examples. Um, so kind of the difference again between responsible tech and impact tech. Um, responsible tech will kind of minimize the harm. So I guess one example would be um, kind of like Google's data centers going green, like that's a responsible tech decision. Um, but beyond that, impact tech is the subset of responsible tech um, that also generates positive benefits. So like educational technology, for example. Um, so if you want to look over that uh, kind of diagram, it's a cool visualization. I'm a visual learner, love visualization um, of responsible tech and then impact tech as a subset of that. So next slide, please. And these are the examples I promise. Um, so kind of what does social impact tech look like in our real world? Um, where are companies that we can see social impact tech um, taking place or kind of manifesting in? So one example is like Duolingo, which increases access uh, to language learning education, uh, which has been really inaccessible for a lot of communities all around the world for a long time. Um, so that's pretty awesome. Khan Academy, I'm sure we all have heard of uh, when we were, maybe even now, maybe in college, but definitely for me in high school, that was a big help. Um, again, that kind of education tech side. Uh, Code 2040 is a great diversity org. Um, it, uh, it's very much like a professional development in tech org, um, primarily for, I think, Black and Latinx folks who are involved in tech. Super cool. Uh, we all know about Code for America. Similarly, like uh, increasing access to kind of coding education and all of that. Um, and then a cool uh, shout out to Jason for this one, um, Gain Forest. Um, if you're interested in kind of like sustainability and environmental tech, um, Gain Forest is a cool um kind of platform that will connect donors like investment donors to um different communities around the world that can benefit from kind of uh money towards reforestation or kind of against deforestation um and a lot of different cool environmental developments so that's super cool uh clean tech i think is another word that's used for that field um but definitely look into it so these are kind of examples of what social impact tech can look like next slide please um, oh, also, I do want to say really quickly, if you have any questions, please, um, you can put them in the chat or save them to the end. We will have a Q&A section. Um, but yeah, so going back into it, um, why are we hosting this series in the first place? So um, we saw that really both UCLA and the internet are kind of full of resources. Uh, and I'm sure a lot of people who are involved in tech or CS can relate to this. Um, there's a lot of resources to help students break into like traditional and technical roles in tech and engineering and CS. A lot of it's focused on the corporate world. Um, a lot of it is specifically geared toward kind of South Campus students. Um, and kind of on the flip side of that, the same is really true for like impact, nonprofit, policy, community oriented work. Um, and that's kind of especially geared for North Campus students. Um, there isn't really a specific place that you can find those um, kind of intersecting or like if they are, they're very rare, then hard to find. Um, so we kind of wanted to fill that gap. There is uh, a lot less known and accessible when it comes to impact tech um, and getting involved, like even less so about getting involved uh, in impact tech as a career. So we really saw the need for that. Um, we love interdisciplinarity. So uh, that's why we decided to host this series. Next slide, please. Um, Again, on like a larger series level, what will we cover? So this week uh, is week two, it's our first workshop. It's gonna be bi-weekly. Um, this week we're doing kind of an intro to careers in social impact tech. Um, next week, super excited. We're gonna have a career panel with um, reps from different companies and nonprofits. We're gonna have ed tech, um, environmental tech, uh, diversity in tech, all of super cool stuff. Uh, criminal justice, we're hoping. So it's very exciting. We'd love to see you all there. Um, week six, we're going to hopefully be doing an intro to open source and kind of careers that you can get into that, how that can apply to social impact um, and kind of that flexibility and finding community and all of that. 
And then week eight, we're gonna have a student org panel, which it will kind of be a combination of all of that. Uh, so we kind of have prepped you, what do the careers look like? How can you get involved? What kind of companies? Um, how, do you, how can you maybe get involved with open source? And then kind of what can you do right now? Um, so where can you get involved at UCLA with different student orgs if you're interested in social impact tech? So that's kind of a highlight of the series. Next slide, uh, please. <laughs> Um, and um, really who is this series for? So honestly, if you identify with any of these bullet points or more, this series is for you. Um, anyone who wants to use tech, like I mentioned um, in my intro, using tech as a tool towards uh, like social impact, uh, social good. Um, anyone who wants to kind of on the flip side of that, make tech itself more responsible and ethical. Um, anyone who's new to tech, um, no prior tech experience needed, but you kind of see its potential towards helping communities. Um, and anyone who's new to social impact, but um, you see the need for a social focus in tech. Um, and again, no prior community engagement experience is needed. Um, last one, anyone who just wants to work in tech, but not sell their soul, this is for you. <laughs> Um, we are excited to have you here. So we hope that you learn things and are able to take them and apply them to your real world life. Next slide, please. Um, and so today's agenda, <laughs> I know, I also love not selling my soul. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, I think that should kind of be a given, but it unfortunately isn't. So we're happy to be having this. Um, so today's agenda, what are we going to go over in today's workshop? It's going to be um, kind of the types of positions and subfields that we really see in social impact tech. It's very varied. It's not like you can search up social impact tech and necessarily just find one set of jobs. It's super different um, because of the fact that it is interdisciplinary. So we're going to kind of go over uh, what that variety of positions and subfields looks like. Then we're going to go over the resources for finding opportunities. So like I said, it's kind of hard to just search up things and find them when it comes to social impact tech. Um, so we're going to, we have a nice list of um, awesome resources that you can use if you're interested. Um, and then kind of just different companies and nonprofits you can get involved with, like the example slide that we had, and then we'll have a QA. and a um, and we may have a couple little interactive sections within that as well. So we're super excited. I'm going to hand it off to Maya to start off with the types of positions and subfields. Yes, thank you, Ashley, for that wonderful introduction. Um, I'm going to get into different specific positions and subfields in social impact tech, if my slides work. Okay, so first we'll start off with positions. Um, main focus, not main focus, the first thing that we'll focus on is technical roles, like software engineering roles. Um, and a lot of companies are looking for this. I mean, there are lots of different, sorry, let me just open the chat. Thank you. Um, thank you, Ashley. There are a lot of different, just like startups that um, obviously are looking for software engineers, although maybe not a lot of them are gonna be super sustainable. But anyway, uh, some of the more established ones are nonprofits like Khan Academy, especially. Um, Khan Academy is really special and I think in that it's a very tech focused nonprofit like the one thing that they're producing is code. Um, so you can always find nonprofits that are looking for software engineers. I know also like the Red Cross is looking for volunteer software engineers, not really a career career because you know we want to get paid, but that also exists if you're looking for experience. Um, philanthropic arms of companies. I know that we don't like big tech that much here, but a lot of large companies in tech do have their own philanthropic arms. So google.org as opposed to google.com. Google.org is uh, a part of Google that will fund, you can apply to like uh, for a project that um, integrates social impact in tech and Google will fund it, um, especially if you're already part of a nonprofit, they'll fund you for like three years or something. Um, but there are also careers there. There are impactful companies that are for profit. So, for example, change.org is a for profit company. It is trying to make money, but we've all seen how petitions can change a lot of things. So, that's also a really impactful company. And then, um, government tech, like Code for America, it builds a lot of software for the government um, because, as we know, a lot of government things are underfunded and outdated. So they need software engineers to keep that tech up to date or rather like take it from the 1980s up to the 2020s. Um, so that's also a really big sect of technical roles in social impact tech. 
Um, another section is education. So there are kind of two parts to this. The first is teaching computer science and making a computer science education more accessible. Um, so like Black Girls Code, Code 2040, which as Ashley said, helps people from Black and Latinx communities get into coding and like software engineering jobs. Um, and then this is also what TJLA does. And then also another part of like education tech is developing these educational tools. So again, Khan Academy, Teach LA's um, like software code editor and all their learning labs and stuff. And then other than these kind of more technical roles, there are also different parts of, of social impact tech that aren't as technical. As I said, I'm kind of being very redundant, but the first is research, which um, this can come in many forms. This could come in um, data collection and data engineering for like looking at environmental racism or something like that. Um, there are also a lot of equity, diversity and inclusion or EDI professional positions at large companies because we know that they need them. Um, and you can just you know help companies with improving on their inclusivity. And then tech ethicists. This is definitely something that falls into a lot of different categories. There are tech ethicists at tech companies. There are tech ethicists at law for firms. There are tech ethicists in government. So this is one that like you can find that position in lots of different places. Um, let me just open the chat. Oh, shall I plug? Um, and then the subfields of social impact tech. Um, so public policy by definition is divided into a lot of, it's a really broad term obviously, but it's divided into a lot of different sects, a lot of which are available here. So like sustainability and environment um, or clean tech, education, ed tech, public policy, criminal justice reform, education. You can work as a software engineer for political campaigns and more. Now that everything is becoming very tech oriented, you can honestly find positions in I think a lot of different areas. So like, um, the Chan Zuckerberg Initiative focuses on criminal justice reform. It's called the Justice and Opportunity Program, and they use tech and lobbying um, for that. So that's also that I think is criminal justice reform is probably one of a less common area of social impact tech, but it still exists, and I think is very important. Um, and then Ashley and I put together a list of resources for you guys to find some social impact topics and. A tip that we have for you is we know that social impact is a really broad term. So narrow down a few communities that you're really passionate about. Like, um, for example, I'm really passionate about sustainability and the environment. So I look for a lot of jobs and internships and whatever in clean tech or like at places like the Climate Corporation. Um, and start by looking for tech companies and other orgs that are doing work in those subfields. And um, so we have a list of how you can learn more about the different types of subfields. And I think Ashley put together this list that you can talk about the resources that you put on it. Yeah, absolutely. So, um, so like Maya said, like discovering those subfields can be difficult. Um, a couple of resources that I found, the first is the Upturn newsletter. Um, Upturn is kind of like a policy oriented tech group. Um, super cool. I recommend checking out their website, which is linked in the slides um, and signing up for their newsletter. They have a really dope newsletter that like separates. Uh, it gives you a lot of different uh, like kind of like news clips, I guess, not clips. That's not the right word, like uh, excerpts, I guess, um, that they've written themselves and they um, talk about uh, different tech related social impact news. Um, and so they kind of separate it by like education, sustainability, uh, criminal justice, uh, privacy, there's so many things. So whatever you're interested in, they, uh, that's a great resource. Um, there's also kind of like a master list, if you would call it that, of um, public interest tech resources, which is kind of a it's probably a little bit different than social impact tech, but um, there are a lot of different phrases used, like there's CS for good, and there's like all these different terms. So, um, but public interest tech is probably really closely aligned to social impact tech, I would say. So um, that's a cool page with a ton of resources that you can look through. Um, and then another newsletter, if you're interested in more of the nonprofit side of tech, um, there is a tech nonprofit newsletter. Um, I'm not sure how they say the name of their org. I don't know if it's just like forward, but um, they have an awesome newsletter as well. So highly recommend subscribing to that. The newsletters, you can usually sign up at like if you scroll all the way to the bottom of the page. 
Um, but that's some resources to kind of educate yourself more on the topics. Um, the next slide will have uh, resources for actually finding these kinds of opportunities like jobs, internships, what have you. Um, so there's Tech Jobs for Good, which is one like kind of job postings website. Um, Udacity also has a posting site on Tech Jobs for Social Good. Um, there's a Tech Nonprofit Jobs, if again, if you're interested specifically in working for a nonprofit. Um, I think um, Maya can talk about the rest of them. Yeah, so there's Code for America, Public Interest Tech Jobs, and um, as I said, Code for America is like government tech, so aiming to improve government systems. So if you're interested in that, they have a public listing of positions in that space. Um, there's Climate Base, which the very amazing Jason recommended to us, um, which is like a listing of a lot of uh, jobs in clean tech. Um, which is like tech relating to the environment. So they have like this really big, just basically online bullet board of a ton of software engineering positions um, and also other positions, I think, in climate tech. Um, not so much uh, uh, internships, but I think if you probably scour the website enough, you might be able to find some. There's Impact Labs, which is personally my favorite newsletter um, slash thing. Basically, they have a newsletter that gives a bunch of articles on different areas in social impact tech. It also has a bunch of job listings. It comes out, I think, every week. It's where I found a lot of job, job applications. Um, and then they also do a fellowship. So you can get an opportunity to do research um, in some or do create some product that's equitable, it's ethical, um, and it obviously involves tech and they will fund all your expenses. It's like a nine month fellowship or three month fellowship, I forget. Um, I think it's going on right now, um, but it, they're super duper cool. And then lastly, um, there's a website called weareimpactful.org. And I put that in case you wanna Google it because if you Google impactful, you're not gonna, you're not gonna find it. Um, but it has, it's also, it's basically kind of like climate-based except it's, it's just a, job board with like tons and tons of different social impact jobs you can sort it by the different um like sects of, of social impact that you're interested in so that is really cool um and yeah if like i said they're linked on the slides yeah and i think um, uh, maybe also just sorry to interrupt you i was going to say mega just sent a no, go for it. Awesome resource in the chat so we can link that in the slides as well um, after this is over so that y'all can have it all in one consolidated place. Thank you, Mega. Yeah. And really do hit Jason up because I can, I can vouch for him that he has a ton of climate tech um, opportunities. So we want to have a little discussion. I don't think we need to break into breakout rooms, but you can just put in the chat or you can unmute yourself. Like, what is the social impact area that you care about? And then maybe if you know of what is an example of how tech can be is used or can be used in that field? And also, if you aren't super familiar with social impact, what is something after hearing all the different uh, categories that we presented earlier? What is one of those that you might be interested in? We yeah. are and we would love it if you could unmute just because this is a kind of interactive space. If not, chat is fine, but we would love to hear y'all. I think for me, if I may go first, um, <laughs> for me, um, something I'm really passionate about is kind of just increasing access to the tech sphere um, for people of color specifically. Um, I feel like I have um, kind of seen uh, for other people and experience for myself that there are so many different barriers, um, at least in like UCLA CS, because that's kind of my, uh, that has been so far my only really experience in the tech uh, kind of world. I didn't really have tech experience before college. Um, and I just see that there's so like now that I've been exposed to it, I just see that there's so much wrong with the system right now and that um, there's so many uh, barriers for people of color who want to get involved in tech. Um, so I am super passionate about that. Um, and I'm really excited to see that there, there are orgs like Code 2040, for example, that are kind of trying to end those barriers and um, kind of end those gaps in, in opportunity. So um, that's super exciting. Um, I don't know if other people wanna share 
something that you're passionate about um, or that you're just interested in after hearing about it? Um, I'm really excited. Well, like I really want to help with combating global warming. And I think there are some, probably some websites or services that monitor weather and use tech um, in that way. That's awesome. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. Does anyone um, else want to share? Go ahead. So um, I guess I'm not really sure how like a specific area I'm interested in, I guess maybe like mental health, but um, I, I just know that I like something that worries me about tech is like how um, easily your like data can be I guess, sent, um, sent to different companies and like privacy and stuff. So I don't know, I like, I'm really thankful for you guys for doing this because I was kind of worried about like to see us in general and how like the direction it's going in. So um, yeah, knowing that this kind of exists is kind of nice. Oh yeah, I'm so glad. Thank you for saying that. And I agree with Jason. Jason said something in the chat um, to check out our data privacy workshop from fall. Um, that's awesome um, that you're thinking about that because it's true, like it's a it's a thing. Um, and also um, the resource that I mentioned in that first resource slide, uh, the Upturn newsletter, they talk about privacy a lot. So if you're interested in that, that would, they provide a lot of cool reads. Um, so yes, it's on the ACM, the ACM UCLA YouTube channel, the data privacy workshop from the fall, if you wanna check that out. Um, Sharvani mentioned in the chat, uh, kind of interested to see how fair machine learning companies are tackling the nuanced issues of bias in machine learning. There is a lot to do in that field and I'm excited to see how these companies do. Yes, super agree. Bias in machine learning is super cool to learn about. I mean, not in a good way, but like cool to learn about how it works and how we can kind of try and eliminate that or work with it to minimize it. So very interesting topic, I should say, not like cool. <laughs> Does anyone else want to share? Maya, do you want to share? Yeah, um, if I can I can share right now. Um, I guess I'm interested in, like I said, government tech, um, because I think that although, you know, our government systems are kind of, could use a lot of improvement. My mom is mad at me. Um, I, I also think that, um, they can also be super improved in terms of the technology. Like I think we've all, if you've ever been on a government website, it sucks. Um, it's really difficult to use a lot of, just there are so many different systems, like getting your court records expunged is, even if it's a really tiny offense, um, it's a really long process. And I think a lot of those can be expedited using technology. Um, I know in New York, they're currently having a, a like an initiative to bring universal broadband, universal internet to everyone in New York City, which I think is super cool because I do think that internet should be a human right, especially now. Um, and yeah, oh my God, I love, sorry. I'm so happy to see engagement in the chat. We yeah. have Aaron saying that you're excited about this workshop because you care, sorry, Ashley, um, care about the environment. And I do agree that tech exploits everything it can. Um, I'm going to reset the slides because I think someone came in, but yes, please go ahead. Oh, love the chat exploding. Um, which one did you just read, Maya? Um, I read the one by Erin. Okay, cool. I can read. About, Christine. Uh, um, Christine said, definitely interested in increasing accessibility to underserved communities and education. And like Sharvani said, cognitive bias, which really affects all of the subfields listed in the slides. I would agree. Um, that's awesome. Yes, accessibility, honestly, within education. Um, and I feel, I don't know if this is what you meant exactly, Christine, you can let me know, but I feel like, um, especially with the pandemic, like there have been a lot of um, different kind of entities in tech who are thinking of like, how can we, like the, I think the education gap in general, like just not necessarily coding or CS education, just education in general, like now that um, schooling is all remote, there's a huge gap obviously in resources and accessibility to their schooling that like kids have. Um, so I know that's a, a thing that a lot of tech companies or different entities have kind of been looking into um, because like, how can we minimize that gap, you know? 
it was always there, but I think the pandemic has kind of exacerbated that. Christine says, yeah, definitely love that. <laughs> Um, and also one more thing I want to add just to, just to get everyone riled up a little bit. I just, I do agree. I think that for me, getting involved with social impact tech is a way of taking a stand against a lot of these companies that uh, a lot of people at UCLA Computer Science are kind of not pressured to go into, but it's seen as a, an achievement. Oh, I'm a so I graduated and became a software engineer at Google, which obviously is challenging, but that's not the end all and be all of computer science. And I think especially um, a lot of our affiliates could definitely improve in terms of their ethics. And um, yeah, just to- um, yeah. I had this recorded, uh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I know, <laughs> I do not care, sorry. Um, uh -huh. But yeah, if no, anyone period. else yeah. has- uh, Sorry, sorry, Ashley. If anyone else has anything to say, um, definitely put in the chat or unmute yourself because we're really interested. But if we are kind of a little done with the we have one more we, the chat. we have one more in the chat that says tech ethics especially when it comes to ai and machine learning and that's from hannah yeah definitely that's a really big thing especially with stupid areas like predictive policing um gender classification a lot of those things a lot of these things don't need to exist and also having to do with the way that a lot of like facial recognition systems are, are created, obviously have a lot of bias. Quick um, plug. And that, if you're interested. Oh, go ahead. I think go, we're, go, go. I was gonna say that um, ACM Impact had a tech ethics workshop series in the fall. So if you're interested in tech ethics, you know where to look. <laughs> Is that what you're gonna say, Maya? <laughs> no, I was gonna drop another little controversial thing, but if you're interested in, um, um, in AI ethics, you should definitely Google Dr. Timnit Jibru. She used to work at Google, doesn't anymore for a lot of reasons. Not a lot of, okay. Um, let me keep my mouth shut on that issue, but yeah, she's she's super cool. Timnit Jibru, Deborah Raji, uh, Joy Bulalamwini, all amazing Black women in AI ethics, leading researchers. But yeah, um, should we go to the next slide? Anyone? I love people putting resources in the chat. It's so exciting. Okay, yeah, last, very, last very call. Cool. If anyone's interested, you can go ahead and unmute or put in the chat. Okay, cool. Before we do go on to the next slide, I do just want to say because I feel like a couple of people have been commenting about um, really kind comments about how they're thankful for the series. Um, Thank you for that. We hope that um, everyone experiences that feeling. I feel like it definitely, um, I can speak to my personal experience. Like it was kind of hard coming into tech for the first time, like into CS at UCLA my first year um, and kind of being like, where is the like feeling? <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense. Like I was like, I don't like, I wanna work with computers but I don't wanna be a computer. Like I, I care about people, I care about communities and I wanna do work for communities. And I like, no matter where I end up Career-wise, I definitely want to be making like a positive difference and impact on different communities. Um, and so I'm super glad that we have this space now. Um, ACM Impact is a super dope group of people. Um, and we're hoping that we can help you all feel that sense of community as well, that you found people that also care about like the planet and people. <laughs> um, so yeah, we, Love that, Mega has hearts. I am also gonna send a heart because I'm feeling sentimental. <laughs> but okay, um, if no one else wants to share, you can feel free to keep putting them in the chat, um, but we wanna also open it up to Q&A. Like if you have any questions about anything that we've mentioned so far, anything that's gonna come up in the future um, workshops of the series, anything at all, you can unmute or put in the chat. For example, there was a question that was like, what is Teach LA? <laughs> you wanna answer that, Maya? <laughs> Actually, a really cool part of ACM that has some really cool officers, one of which is Ashley Foytian. Um, and it just teaches computer science to communities or like high, high or not high schools, LA, like schools. Oh my God, I can't talk. Schools in LA um, makes really cool curriculum, has 
collaborations with a lot of other parts of ACM and is honestly probably the coolest um, part of ACM, if I may say so. Um, <laughs> I'm yeah. just and imagine like say, an angel halo around my head. <laughs> yeah, and Ashley is by far very cool. I'm um, offended by hello. you. <laughs> Someone Sorry. in the chat. Um, all I spoke was facts. <laughs> um, okay, so. All of ACM is amazing. Is not not ACM is all of ACM is amazing. But not Jilla is the best. <laughs> um but yeah if you could if you enjoyed this workshop or didn't enjoy this workshop or or somewhere in the middle if you could fill out the feedback form actually if you could put it in the chat that would be great but it, it would be really helpful because this is the first of these workshops that we've put on um and it would be really really helpful to see some feedback to see how we can make it more engaging um so yeah i think it will be put in the chat soon thank you ashley and um yeah just fill that out and if you're part of acm's like membership portal it's members.acm.com i think um the code for this workshop is tech for good um yeah sarvani yeah, let us know an amazing point if you'd want something yeah. like this in the fall, I'm just saying it out loud because I don't think the people in the watching the recording can see the chat. If you want something like this in the fall while recruition, recruition, recruiting season is happening, um, you can let us know about that in the feedback form and we can take that feedback and do something with it. So <laughs> feel free to yeah. use the feedback form um, to give us constructive criticism or just um, suggestions, anything you'd like. Um, we are here to provide super dope workshops for y'all so um yes. yeah oh. um oh before i say thank you for coming i just wanted to shout out um a really cool collab that's coming up soon which is between acm impact and acm ai so for all of you that are interested in in climate tech especially it's it's focusing on climate change and AI and I really should know more about it but um, it is it, it's at the intersection of AI and sustainability so if you're interested in that uh, details will be up soon it's going to be sometime week six it'll probably if however you found this workshop you'll probably find out about that the same way just follow acm.ucla on instagram follow acm underscore ai underscore ucla on instagram I don't know, subscribe to our Facebook pages, you'll see it, um, but it's gonna be super cool. And I'm personally very, very excited to see what happens. Also, and, not, yeah. Um, oh, quick thing before you say thank you again. Um, if you're not already in, if you're in the ACM Slack channel, um, but you're not in the, or if you're in the ACM Slack workspace or something like that, I don't know what it's called, but you're not in the impact channel, uh, join that channel. You can, you know, you can go to like channels and click plus and it should be there. You should see it, it's public. Um, so that you can hear about all the cool things that we're doing. Um, lots of resources are sent there. Lots of cool things that you can look into if you're interested in these different fields or subfields. Um, and then also announcements um, about what ACM impact will be doing. So if you're interested, um, we'd love to have you in that little community. We're happy to have you in this community. Um, so yeah, I guess that leads into our thank you for coming. Um, I will drop the slides in the feed, or Maya, do you think you could drop the slides in the feedback form in the chat one more time? Um, yes, and then Sharvani said, general members, you can drop by the um, impact channel in the Discord as well and hit us up for anything at all. Um, so please do. Um, feedback form is in the chat. Slides will be there shortly. Um, but thank you, thank you for coming. And then also we will be having our career panel. Super exciting. Um, week four, same day, same time, Thursday at five. So we hope to see you there. There will be industry professionals. So if you want to get your networking on and social impact tech, come through. <laughs> Bye, yeah, everyone. Thank you guys for coming. Hope you had fun. We'll sit down and anyone has questions. Yeah, we'll see you week four otherwise. Thanks, everyone. Mm -hmm.